we are talking about Moodle, how to install Moodle, I will quickly cover. So we need, uh, it will work on Windows as well as Ubuntu or any Linux platform. We need Apache, PHP and MySQL. So database you can use MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, uh, MS SQL, anyone. So I think if you go to the Moodle website, the instructions are there. I am trying on Ubuntu to install, first you want to install PHP. It's already installed PHP. It's already installed in my machine and then I want to install MySQL, so same command. Yeah, we will upload all the documents how to install it on Windows, Ubuntu as well as any other Fedora. We will put it on tomorrow or day after tomorrow in Moodle. So after that you want to just uh, download the Moodle package from the website. I think all of them know the Moodle website. Go to Moodle's website, although all the instruction how to install Moodle, the step by step it is there, you can refer that. Anyway, we will upload it in Moodle. You can go here and click on downloads. You can download this is the latest version, 2.4.3. I already installed it, sorry, I already downloaded, so I am going to my web folder, that is on C, lower www. So you can see that Moodle tar.gz file is there. I already extracted that also. Also then you want to create one more folder that is Moodle data. So you can create anywhere in your machine except in the var www. You can create in var, opt, anywhere. So I already created in opt. So it is here, Moodle data. So once you create a Moodle data, you want to give permission, full permission, that is CH mode triple seven. Triple seven means all of them will get read, write and execute permission, then only it will work. So after that you want to create a database. So I'm creating database on MySQL. So I'm creating a database. So then I am creating a user with the permission to that database. It's already done. So this is so the database part is done. Everything is done. Now you just open your web browser. You put the IP address. So now the installation is started. Next. So now you want to specify where it's automatically detecting where is the Moodle folder, then I put my folder in OPT, you want to just specify that. Next, want to select which is your database, then database username, it's the password. Next, continue. So now it will check all the dependencies are there. If any package is missing, then this okay this become red. So then you want to just install that package and then continue. It will take around five minutes to install, maximum five minutes. That's all, That's the installation step. It is started, it will come. So if you want to add users manually, then go to the site administration, then click on users, accounts, add new user. So you want to just specify the username, password, first name, last name, set it down, then it will create. So also if you want to create course, same thing is there, course. 
click on the course, add bar, edit new course. So you can categorize, we can categorize like this workshop, summer internship and all. So click on the workshop. So there is two, three categories of users are there. One is administrator, who has all the permission to manage the Moodle. Then the second one is teacher. So teachers can upload anything, uh, grade, all the things that will happen. Students means they can view only the contents and submit the file. Means assignments, they, if they want to attend the queues, they can attend the queues. Yeah, so if you go to the, one second I will show you. You can see defined roles. You can see the, you can define the roles. If you need, uh, either the manager is there, course creator, teacher, non-editing teacher, student, then teaching assistants. So you can define. If you want to give permission, you just edit here and give permission. Suppose if you want to give uh, the teaching assistant want to grade all the assignment or they want to manually grade the queues, then you can give permission. By default, it will not come. You can give permission only for that module. If you want to hide something, that is also possible. So if you click here, all the modules will available, then you can edit that. Here it will show what are the permission to them. If you want to allow, you click on the allow, the permission. Yeah. So what he showed you was to create uh, users one at a time. There are several other options. Uh, one way is uh, users enroll themselves. Just like uh, you did for Piazza, I sent you a link, you enroll. You can do the same in Moodle. You can tell people go to this course and enroll yourself. Or you can give an enrollment key. Only people who know that key can enter it and get themselves enrolled. Uh, then there's another model where you give a list of users and it's uploaded into Moodle. Uh, similarly, for courses, you can get a list of courses and have it uploaded and courses are created. So there are some formats which it has for bulk loading. And then there's a third model where if you have a database already with uh, students and courses and so on, you can uh, create a view in that database and give access to Moodle. Moodle will connect to the database, pull the data and create courses and users. Uh, and who is registered for which course? Who is a teacher for the course? Who is a student for the course? All of these, if you have in a database and give it appropriate views, uh, it defines the views, you create the view and give it uh, permission to connect to the database, it will suck it in. So there are many ways to do it. Uh, creating one by one is the most painful way, which you don't really want to do. I think the, when they are installing, that time they follow the local host something. That's why it's a problem happening. So there is a file called config.php. You go to the Moodle folder, you can see a config.php file. You just edit that, there, instead of local host, put the IP, then it is accessible everywhere. So now the installation is completed. So I'm continuing. So now I want to set the password for the administrator. 